The Bible calls for us to examine ourselves, to investigate, to assess and to scrutinize ourselves. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 40 says, Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 28 says, Let a person examine himself, then and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Examine what you tolerate in your life. What do you give room to? Examine who you associate with. The company you keep. What are they feeding you? What kind of seeds are they planting in your life? It's important to examine yourself against the standard of God's Word. And it's only when you take the Word of God and use it as a mirror in your own life that you can truly examine yourself and ask questions like, what ungodly things do I tolerate? What ungodly conversations am I involved in? What ungodly thoughts am I entertaining? You see, to the outside world, you can look as though you are full of enthusiasm for Jesus Christ. You can appear to be the model Christian. You can be an encourager to others and yet still be struggling yourself. You can witness the gospel of Jesus Christ but still be struggling with your own salvation. The point I am trying to make is that we as people can hide our real selves. We are rarely transparent with our battles. How many people come out and admit that they struggle with pride? How many people have you come across who will openly say that my area of weakness is anger, it's unforgiveness, it's lust. However, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 3, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. Meaning that God sees deep and beyond the physical. The sight of the Lord reaches all the way down into the chambers of your heart. We can deceive people and fool them into thinking that we are doing well and that we are strong Christians. But we cannot deceive the Lord. The Lord knows every detail of your every thought. He weighs your intentions and sees what drives you. So examine your heart, evaluate yourself, judge yourself honestly so that you can go before the Lord and ask for strength and grace and mercy. You know if you are really a doer of the word instead of just a hearer. You know if you are genuinely striving to live and practice righteousness. Other people may not see it, but you know if Jesus Christ really is the king of your heart. And I want to remind you that God also knows the answers to these questions. He sees all. So remember Lamentations chapter 3 verse 40. Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 28. Let a person examine himself. Then and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Now let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, help me to examine myself. Help me to measure myself against your word. 
The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 31, but if we judged ourselves truly, we would not be judged. Help me to do this, Lord. Teach me how I should honestly evaluate and judge myself. Help me to recognize my shortcomings and through the power of the Holy Spirit, give me the strength to correct my behavior. I understand, Lord Jesus, that self-evaluation, self-examination and the judgment of self is hugely important if I am to become a Christian who is living a life that is pleasing to the Lord. It's with this understanding that I pray for a renewed mind, a transformed mind. Move in and fill my heart, Lord Jesus. Let the word of God be written on every side, on every corner and in every place within my heart. Let my heart be filled with the Holy Ghost and remove the lust of the world from within me. Remove the love of money. Remove the anger, Lord. Remove the bitterness. Father, heal me where I need healing. Make me whole where I am lacking. Satisfy my desires and passions with holy and righteous things. Help me to examine myself, Lord Jesus, to hold myself accountable against the standard that is in your word. I pray that I would be obedient to your word and not have any tolerance or excuses for some sins over the other. I pray that you would convict me, Holy Spirit, so that I would not be a hypocrite who says one thing but lives in a completely different way. So if I say that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Saviour, help me, Holy Ghost, to remove all idols from my life. Help me to examine myself and see if I am really trying to live like Jesus did when he was on this earth. If I say Jesus Christ is my Lord, help me to examine my own life so that I can see whether I am living in a way that reflects that I am saved, that I have been born again. I pray for the genuine love of God to be within me. I pray for the genuine fear of the Lord to govern my life. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I pray, Lord, that I should be separate from this world. Help me not to conform to the world's superficial values and its customs. Help me not to conform to the ungodly things which are so widely tolerated by this world. But instead, I pray, King Jesus, that I would be transformed. I pray that there would be a progressive change in my heart, in my mind in my attitude and in my character. I pray for spiritual maturity, Lord. I pray for a renewed mind that's focused on godly values. I desire to have a heart that follows the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Help me, King Jesus, to be obedient to Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 which says set your minds on things that are above not on things that are on earth I bless your holy name for hearing my prayer 
Thank you, Lord. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. <laughs>